Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. And the topics for this class are the last loop, last type of loop that is for loop and we'll work out some example programs to demonstrate the for loop. First we'll understand how for loop works. For loop also executes a set of statements repeatedly until the given condition remains true. Here also as we did in the last two kinds of loops, uh, as, as long as the condition remains true, it goes on executing the block code uh, repeatedly. The for structure consists of three essential parts. One is variable initialization, second condition and the third one variable update or where we increment or decrement the for variable. So there are three parts in the for uh, loop which are very important and we'll combine all three together in the single statement like this. As you can see in the screen here uh, in the first statement where, where we put the keyword first followed by inside the parenthesis we'll be having the three parts, th three different parts of the for loop. First is the variable initialization here before the semicolon we will initialize a variable with some value and here the base condition is given to check every time uh, before executing this code block and this variable will be updated here every time after one iteration gets over, right? Either it is incremented or decremented in this part. First the variable gets initialized here and the condition is checked in the second place. First this will be, first this will take place and second the condition is checked and at third place the code block is executed. In the fourth place the variable gets updated here and again the condition checked against the variable if the condition remains true, compiler enters into the loop and executes it for one more time and it repeats and it repeats and repeats again until the condition remains true. And friends, in this program I'll be demonstrating the for loop uh, where we are going to print the same statement for 10 times, this time using the for loop, right? So for that, first I'll explain the for structure. So this is how it looks like. So this is the basic syntax of for loop. So the first place is for variable initialization. Second is the condition. And at the third, uh, either the variable gets incremented or decremented here. Rest, right? So to check and update the variable, I must have it first. So first I'll go and declare it. So okay, I got the variable of integer type. And inside here, so this is the actual loop. Uh, I will have the printing statement. Welcome to Ang Pro Training. Right. So, why uh, in the while loop? If you remember, in the while loop or do while loop, we have the condition at the beginning or at the end. Beginning in the case of while loop, at the end in the case of do while loop, and inside the loop we have uh, the variable incrementation. But here it doesn't happen like that. So in the for statement only, we'll be having all three together. First, we'll initialize the variable here that is i equals to say 1. So here I've initialized the variable. So the condition is checked here. So I will give the logical condition here. As long as i remains less than or equal to 10, this loop is going to be executed. And every time i is going to increment itself by 1. So this will be used for incrementation, right? So first i is initialized with 1 and checks for the condition. If 1 is less than or equal to 10, then the compiler executes this statement and comes back here to increment its value. So let's go and run this program.
so yes we successfully got the output right so if I want to print it for 20 times control F9 so remember friends it all depends on the value that that you're going to initialize here and the limit you give in the second part right so this is the limit until where this loop is going to be executed right so this is the starting point you can say and this is the end point between that this incrementation happens so it brings the value uh, from this to this right so this is how the for loop works so let's try this so let's use the for loop for printing a number series right so we'll print the number from 1 to set 10 so this is very simple the loop the loop remains the same the loop remains the same just uh, change the limit and go and print the i value that's it percent d comma i control f9 so that's it so you can change the limit up to uh, what number you want to print the i value right so if i want to say suppose i want the numbers the even numbers until 10 so just have the uh, condition to check for the evenness of number right if i mod 2 equals to 0 then print that number that's it very simple right control f9 yes we got that if i want only uh, the or numbers just change this to not equals we'll get the only or numbers right so how we so this is how we can achieve let's say suppose i want the multiplication table one is two two twos are four two threes are six so like that i want the multiplication here so for that i'm going to make use of three variables first i'll erase this part i don't need this anymore okay so i will hold the variable uh, from one to ten and one part for constant value uh, which will be stored here say a equals to 2 if I want to print the multiplication table for number 2 I'll you I'll store the value 2 in the variable a and one more for product right so first inside here before printing uh, the multiplication table I should have the product stored in some variable right so that is what I'm going to do now so prod equals to I multiplied with a right so I so I varies I changes its value every time but a remains same a remains 2 every time 1 into 2 2 into 2 3 into 2 this happens every time proud control f9 yes I got the multiplication table not exactly the table only the product right let's go and print the same pattern what we have uh, in the books uh, so say suppose percent d x percent d equals to percent d right so this is the pattern right in the first place uh, 2 comes here in the first first place and the variable comes in this place and the product here right so first i have to have uh, the constant a comma i comma product control f9 yeah we got it 2 into 1 2 2 into 2 4 2 into 3 6 likewise i can achieve uh, the multiplication table of any number say so i just change the number to 3 here control f9 so i got the multiplication table for 3 so let us change this to 10 control f9 so that's what we got so this is how we can achieve uh, the multiplication table well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on youtube like our page on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin thank you